Barry Minko was a Wall Street whiz kid in the 80s. At 16, he started Z-Best, a carpet cleaning company which went public. But the business was a phony, and he spent eight years behind bars. Now he has a new endeavor, and Casey Wyan reports. When we last met Barry Minko, he was telling cops and bankers how to catch con men like Barry Minko. Now there's a bigger audience. He's the James Bond of fraud prevention. He's Barry Minko, and this time he's on your side. Making it safe to do business in a fraudulent world. I'm Barry Minko, and you're listening to Fraud Biz. Minko is hosting a daily fraud prevention show on this sports talk radio station. Thank you so much for calling. Thank you. I just wanted to know how you avoid getting ripped off. He offers advice from a top ten list of scams to personal experience. I am a qualified expert at failing in business. I can tell you exactly what not to do. One of Minko's first guests, a prosecutor who put him in jail. Did you ever think that we would end up together in a radio studio doing a show? It no, I never thought that. In fact, as I was listening to you go through and tick through the ten top items of fraud, I was thinking to myself, Barry did all of these, and then he did about 20 more. The result, a Ferrari, a big house, and nearly eight years in jail. My sales manager tells me, um, comes in and says, uh, you know, I've got this fellow Barry Minko. I said, oh, my God, z -Best, no way. I don't want to have anything to do with this guy. Uh, this guy's a, a con man. He's a criminal. Uh, Barry's a, an interesting guy. He has a lot to say. Uh, if it weren't for the fact that I thought that he had a good message, he wouldn't be on the radio today. Minko isn't being paid. A percentage of ad revenue goes to his victim's restitution fund. By putting myself out of the financial loop, I have made it Barry-proof. Minko supports himself by giving speeches and working part-time at a law firm and his church. Probation limits his income, but Minko says his radio show could have an unlimited audience. Maybe you're about to make an investment decision. You want to know what not to do? We can help you. He's planning to syndicate it nationally. Casey Wyan, CNN Financial News, Los Angeles.